using this law, Britain has attempted to push back and externalize migration instead of dealing with it domestically um, and in partnership with France and the European Union. I think worse than that, actually, it's politicized it. It's made it a political football at a time when migration is an incredibly divisive topic here in the UK. And even worse, I think it has securitized it. I think it has rendered uh, migration as a whole um, an aspect of the safety and the security of the UK. And I think that is a, that is absolutely a step too far. When the Supreme Court rules that the scheme is unlawful, that's that's it. That's the final declaration at that point. To then attempt by the government to circumvent this in a way that forces the courts to ignore key sections of British law, the Human Rights Act, the International Refugee Convention, and maybe even more importantly than all, the European Convention on Human Rights, the ECHR, which prohibits inhuman treatment. And, and, and many critics would say that there is inhuman treatment being meted out uh, to people arriving, um, particularly from the small boats, with the prospect of going to R R Rwanda. Judges in 2021 um, had already you know, criticised, and in fact, the government itself had criticised Rwanda over its poor quality. Uh, it's poor human rights uh, track record, it's extrajudicial killings, deaths in custody, enforced disappearances and torture. So why is a country which is unsafe in 2021 magically safe in 2022? Um, and, and, and why do we have to see Britain uncoupling and decoupling itself from the from the range of highly regarded international laws, which are the very foundation of the rules based system? So it's 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 a it's a poor step forward, if you like.